Welcome back to Sunday Night in America. Finally, some good news. We are only 55 days from Christmas, also known as the start of college football. College football is not just a sport for some of us. It's a respite from everything else going on in the world. But college football is not immune from politics or financial motivation. Southern Cal and UCLA just announced they were leaving the Pac-12 to join the Big Ten because, of course, Lincoln, Nebraska and Los Angeles, California have so much in common. Last year, college football was rocked when Texas and Oklahoma decided they were leaving the Big 12 and headed to the SEC. It looks like the Big Ten and the SEC will be the dominant conferences. But what about Clemson and Florida State, Notre Dame and my own beloved Baylor Bears? Is the lure of big television contracts making a mockery of geography and traditional rivalries? Can you imagine? Duke and North Carolina not playing each other in basketball. Joining us now is Brady Quinn, former All-American at Notre Dame, former NFL quarterback and currently Fox Sports college football analyst. Thank you very much for joining us, Brady. What do you make of schools from California joining the Big Ten? Well, Trey, does that surprise you? That, you know, Southern California is now Big Ten country? Uh, look, the reality is this. I think everyone right now in the realm of college sports is looking for stability. And the Big Ten and the SEC are two conferences that really provide that. So from that standpoint, when you look at all the changes in college sports, in particular in college football, with NIL, name, image, and likeness, the transfer portal, and now the changing landscape with realignments and looking for more stability and really more lucrative TV rights deals, it makes sense in a lot of ways. And, and I'd, I'd say the last thing is, looking at both USC and UCLA, you know, it's hard on the West Coast being a part of that noon Eastern time window, which is the most watched window now in college football if you base anything off the ratings from last year. So when you're a part of the Pac-12, it's hard to be a part of that. Now being a part of the Big Ten moving forward here in a couple of years, they'll have the opportunity to be a part of that every single week. I'm going to ask you about noon kickoffs in just a second, but I'm going to, in honor of you and John Radcliffe, I'm going to ask about Notre Dame. I mean, that is the biggest catch of all, arguably. So do they wind up? I think they're in the ACC now for everything except football. Where do they wind up? Well, I think there's a misconception that they need to make a decision right now. Notre Dame's still under contract with NBC Sports for football through the 2025 season, so they do have some time. The biggest thing is they need to see how this whole thing shakes out with all the conference realignment and then look for you know what conference gives them an opportunity for the postseason. Uh, what does that TV contract rights look like? Uh, the, obviously, the money side of things. Uh, but finally, you know, what do they want to do from a scheduling standpoint? I mean, I, I said earlier the past couple of weeks when all this news came to be that, you know, for the most part, Notre Dame's always want to remain independent for the national schedule they could put together. The Big Ten now kind of offers that when you look at them bringing on USC and UCLA and then potentially whatever other West Coast teams or, or universities you'd see them bring along. So maybe that is more of an enticing offer now in a couple of years when Notre Dame has to make that decision. But I don't anticipate they're going to make that decision anytime soon, at least not until that rights deal with NBC Sports is up. We would love to have them in the SEC. I mean, they've already traveled to play Clemson in Death Valley. We would love to have Notre Dame in the SEC, but I'll let the commissioner handle that. Right, you mentioned noon kickoffs. I checked the schedule for the upcoming season because it's very important to me. And one of the biggest games is Alabama playing Texas at 11 o'clock in the morning. Brady, who is up at that time? Why so early? Is that all television? Uh, television plays a part in it, too. I think the other thing that gets overlooked, though, is, like, the family atmosphere. Look, I've got three little girls. I can't take them, Trey, to these primetime games at 7 p.m., 8 p.m. It's past their bedtime. They're not staying up late for that. So, you know, one of the things that we've noticed on Big Noon Kickoff is, is getting there early, especially two hours doing a live TV show on site. There are still a ton of people excited about the game, the masses uh, that are still going to come out and show their support. And then for all those who are watching on TV, again, I'll, I'll reiterate what I said earlier and the numbers back it up it is the most watched time slot on co in college football in the fall on Saturdays is that noon window or 11 a.m. you know central time in this case so the numbers back it up and honestly the attendance and everything else the crowds that we've gotten they back it up too so I, I think it's created another opportunity and window for football fans out there not only to come enjoy games in person but also to bring their family and their kids along as opposed to some of those later night games 
I believe you, Brady. I'm just sitting there thinking at my old age, I cannot get up that early for a major. I mean, I, I like the 8 p.m. game, but you're 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 younger than I am. My, my kids are, are, are old. All right. I got to ask you one question before I let you go. You were a political science major, I think, at Notre Dame, correct? Yes, sir. Any chance you would switch jobs with me for just a year, just to see how it see how it plays out? I'll do college sports. You come do politics, and we'll check in with each other in a year. I, I think my job sounds like a lot more fun, Trey. So I, I, I'm going to stick to my job, uh, hanging out with uh, with the rest of my crew on Big Noon Kickoff, and I'll let you do your thing. You do a great job. So thank you so much for having me on. I, don't make up your mind too soon. Are you sure you don't want to think about it? For, 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 are, <laughs> I'm positive. Right, I'm 100 percent positive. I'm staying right where I'm at. All right. Well, you've got the best job in the world. I can't wait to watch you coming up in about 55 days. Thank you so much for joining us on a Sunday night, too. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.